Hey, good morning from Eagle Lake here in beautiful Edwardsburg, Michigan. Uh, now, I've done some other videos by the water, but uh, this is the first time, and I'm pretty excited about this because I think my faith is growing. This is the first time I'm actually uh, walking on the water. Yeah, all right, I'm on my way out to see Jesus. Well, actually, I hope I'm not on my way to see Jesus. I'm a little iffy about the, walking on the lake here. I don't see anybody else out here, but hopefully this is safe, and hey, if not, what's the worst that could happen? You know, I fall in and uh, this video goes viral and I'm famous. <laughs> sure, I'm dead, but I'm famous, so uh, not too bad. Actually, I'm uh, uh, my faith isn't all that great. I'm walking, uh, kind of inching my way out here and kind of cautious, worried about each step and whether I can trust the steps that I'm taking. Thought about that. That's kind of how a lot of us are negotiating life right now, wondering what we can trust, who can who we can trust, moving along carefully and, quite frankly, having a hard time trusting. There's a story in Mark chapter five about a guy named Jairus. And uh, Jairus goes to Jesus because his daughter's sick and asks Jesus to heal his daughter. And Jairus and Jesus are on their way to healing uh, his daughter when uh, they're delayed and they get some news from home. The report comes that, uh, forget it Jairus, she's already dead. And Jesus, the Bible says, I think it's verse 36. Jesus, it says, when he hears the report, he says, fear not only believe. Fear not, only believe. I love that, just thinking about the world in which we live in, because how many reports are coming our way? I mean, how often do we hear reports that are designed to bring fear into our life? And I hear the words of our Savior say, fear not, only believe. But I know, I know belief sometimes and trust in Jesus right now is tough. Uh, we struggle with that. I struggle with that. So I wanted to give you one other thing that's incredibly helpful to me when it comes to trusting the Savior. And that is from Romans chapter 8, verse number 32. Now it's in the section of Romans, well, you ought to read all of Romans chapter 8, but it's in the section that talks about if God be for us, who could be against us? And it talks about the fact that nothing can separate us from his love. But verse number 32 says that the one who who did not spare his own son, will he not also give us all things? We can trust the one, why? Because he did not spare his own son. I think of the cross. I think of that event in history that was horrific. It was terrible that his disciples looked at and said, this is the worst thing that could possibly happen. Uh, the, this one that we have followed is now being crucified. He's dead. I think about how tragic that was, and yet I see that God brought the greatest victory, victory over sin and death. God used, that, that's how God accomplished his greatest victory was through the thing that the disciples would have a hard time trusting. So when I think, God, are you, are you still in control? I remember the cross. I remember the disciples who must have wondered if God was still in control. And I remember that indeed I can trust the one who did not spare his own son, but gave himself up for me. So when the reports, the reports come, when you hear the reports, hear the words of the Savior, fear not, only believe.